Welcome back to Andy's Guides. In today's video, we are going to show you how to publish website in card.com. Let's begin. Now, the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials. If this is your first time here in card, I want you to click the sign up option. And from here, before you can publish a website, I want you to follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go. Card.co provides a straightforward drag and drop interface that makes it easy to build and publish a website without needing advanced technical skills. Basically, um, I've been using Card for quite some time now, and I can access a range of customizable templates to quickly create a professional looking site, reducing the time and effort required. Publishing your website in this platform is a breeze. It's really a straightforward process because all you're going to do is hover to the upper right corner where you can see the three horizontal lines or the uh, hamburger menu and click on publish now that you see here you can put in the description like for example this one you can have an action to publish it to card.co plus url you can publish to a custom domain if you wanted but of course you have to put in the domain that you wanted make sure that when you publish this site to a registered custom domain or subdomain the following dns records must be added to the domain via your domain provider or register we will be having a separate video on how to register your domain here on the um, card.com but we're not going to deal with that now if you wanted to save this as a template you need to upgrade your plan from the basic free to the pro subscription you can also have the option to save as an offline draft, but I'm not going to do that right now, but because we're going to push to publish it to a card.co URL. All right. Now you see there's more, more uh, multiple options at the, at the top. All right. So basically there's going to be the title, the description. You also have an image here. You can share image, which is optional. Of course, that's up to you. But please be mindful that the image to display when this site is shared in a social network like Facebook or Twitter defaults to a screenshot if not provided all right so there's a cog wheel or gear icon here beside that you can choose the language that you're comfortable with you can choose any for uh, bulgarian burmese catalan shajan chinese um a lot more Kurdish. you can also have the password protection but this is optional and requires a pro subscription as well all right after that you also have an option for the google analytics id that's optional because the Google Analytics measurement or tracking ID to use for this site is going to be another day for another tutorial video. You can also have an option for indexing, like if you put it on, text only or off. Now, the important part, part of the indexing is that it asks search engines and other crawlers to index the site text content, but exclude its images in uh, videos, right? You also have an option for the update frequency, but again, like the other, it requires a pro subscription, right? You don't have the option to update it in frequency. You have a canonical URL. We're not going to dive deep to that. We're going to go into have a separate video for technical um, matters here on the publishing website. You can also choose the color. Now I'm going to choose maybe, um, maybe yellow. So it's a lot easier for it to choose. You can have on uh, serve fonts locally. You can allow font assets to be served directly to the uh, site. But again, you need the subscription plan for that. You can reduce the motion if requested. All right. Minimize motion effects and animations when requested by the browser. Now, the reason we're doing this is to make sure that the site that you are going to publish is dynamic because even the paid plans are relatively inexpensive compared to other website builders. Now, I believe that you're getting the uh, money's worth and it's a good value for the features and functionality offered here. That's why we're, you know, dealing with all the options. Now, in terms of the meta tags, which is optional, you can add meta tags as here as you can add as many as meta tag as you want. Remember that the meta tags format is this one name equals to content format to include the site's head. All right. But if you don't want that, just click on delete. You can also have the redirects, which is optional. That's going to be for a request destination. But again, before you can do that, you need to subscribe to the pro plan. We're using only the basics, so our options are quite limited. All right. Now, 
The thing is, once you're happy with that, all they're gonna do is click on publish changes. And if you encounter any problems, just uh, follow the on-screen prompts, all right? So I have two elements that haven't been finished yet. Please finish these elements or save this side. Now, go to this one. Maybe uh, I'm gonna... This one is unfinished. I'm gonna click on delete. So do that for everything here. And again, hover to the upper right corner. Let's publish changes. There's two elements. So go to that element. This is maybe this one. I'm gonna delete that not needed go to publish again and click on publish changes just wait for it to load you see it's really easy to publish here right now when site is successfully published to andy's guide that card.com you can view the site just click on that and it will link you to a lot of um, social media profiles and include social sharing buttons to increase visibility to changes all right so this is going to be the website that we have published here on the car.com. Now, the thing is, you see, if you click this one, I would be re redirected to another YouTube channel on Andy's Guides. Now, if you wanted to create a new one, just go here. You can start over. Okay. Or maybe go to the home and choose a starting point. All right, if you wanted to create a new uh, site. Now, when choosing a starting point, there are so many templates that you can use, maybe, but of course you need to make sure that it's not under the pro because you're not gonna be able to use it if um, if you're not subscribed to the pro subscription. You also have an option for the demo to make sure that the template suits your brand's identity and it fits with your teams, all right? Just wait for it to load. Now, I'm gonna be choosing this one. Click on select wait for it to load now similarly you can uh, um, add for contact form surveys interactive elements directly within the card.com to engage with your visitors and collect valuable information all right now here you can add images just like we did earlier and of course once you do that by publishing your website on card.com you can leverage these benefits to create a functional professional and cost-effective online presence suitable for a wide range of personal and business needs in case you encounter any problems publishing a website here on the card.co platform you can simply go to the card.com customer support service and of course just choose the topic that you wanted put in your message to see if you get an answer all right now the chat is only available for the pro subscription once you uh, get a hold of one of the support staff tell them you're having problems publishing your website on your card.co account account and one of the support staff will give you insights and troubleshooting steps on how to fix it thank you so much for watching we will see you again in the next video